has been a while, hasn't it? I was actually under the impression that nobody wanted to read any more books with me, so I figured I'd just stop. But then I heard that there are some people that want to read a few books and listen to a few books, and so I'm back. Anywho, um, today, seeing as how it's kind of wintry, wintry out, and it's a little bit wind blowing, and can kind of even get scary. So we're going to read The Bears and the Great Big Storm. Ooh, look at all those bears. Oh, there's one more. And it is by Paul Bright and Jane Chapman. Are you ready? If you need to drink water, or if you got to go potty, pause it, stop the tape, and then run in there and go potty or get your water, then come sit back down and relax and listen to the story because it's going to be fun. The Bears in the Great Big Storm. Are we ready? We are ready? Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at, yep, see? There's their little cave. Ooh, and it's just so cold looking out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. All right, my friends. How the wind blew. Oh, yeah, look at, they're in their beds. It howled in the treetops so that the branches bent and creaked and the leaves shivered and shook. It blew over the hills and the high places howling and wailing through the rocky passes. Bear and Mrs. Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed. Look at them. Bear and Mrs. Bear sleep and swarm and snug and untroubled in their bed. <laughs> then Bear felt a tugging at his blanket. He opened one, one eye. There was Baby Bear. There's a monster outside. I can hear it howling and wailing and I'm scared. Can I sleep in your bed? There's no such things as monsters, said Bear. What a scaredy bear you are. But he pulled back the cover, and baby bear snuggled up warm and safe. How the thunder crashed! Squaw! It boomed and it crackled, so the house shuddered and the windows rattled. It grumbled and rumbled and echoed and faded, only to boom and crash again. Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed. But Bear lay awake with his paws over his ears. Now he's wide awake. But they're snuggling, they're warm, they're comfy. Then Bear felt a tapping on his shoulder. There was Little Bear. There's a monster outside. Its tummy is rumbling and grumbling like it's going to eat me. Can I sleep with you? There's no such things as monsters, said Bear. You're another scaredy bear. But he lifted the cover, and little Bear snuggled up warm and safe. Got him, Missy. Ooh, look at that. That looks scary. How the lightning flashed. It forked, it flickered. Lighting the scurry clouds and splashing quick black shadows on the windows and the walls. Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear and Little Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed. But Bear lay awake with his pillow wrapped around his head. Look at his pillows around his head. And they're all sleeping warm and snug. <laughs> then Bear felt a tap on his nose. Do, 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 do. It was Young Bear. There's a monster outside. It has huge twisted horns and it's making shadows on my wall. Can I come and sleep in your bed? There's no such thing as monsters, cried Bear. But he let Young Bear climb into the bed where he snuggled up warm and safe. They're all snuggled warm and safe. Ooh, more big shadows. Now Bear was wide awake. He listened to the wind howling and the thunder crashing. He watched the lightning fork and flash here and there. Young Bear is right, he thought. The shadows on the wall do look like monster horns. And he pulled up the bed covers right over his head. Look at that. Pulled them all the way up to go over his head. Ooh. Look at. Suddenly, there was a rat a tat tat the door. Everybody woke at once. Oh, who can that be? said Bear. It's 
probably nothing at all, said Mrs. Bear. Go and see. And she gave Bear a little push. Yeah, she's telling him, go see, go check it out. Bear climbed nervously out of bed. He picked up a candle to light his way and padded slowly, ever so slowly, to the door. Y'all are such scaredy bears, he said to others. There's no such things as ma 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 monsters. As he turned the handle, the wind blew open the door. The candle went out, and everything was as black as black. Oof, scary, scary. <gasps> See what he sees. Ooh, look at that. Then the lightning flashed. And when the lightning flashed, see all the lightning? He could see what was there. <gasps> is that a scary monster or what? Oh, no. What do you think it is? Oh, you know what it is, maybe. Or maybe not. <gasps> a monster! Shouted Bear. He jumped back in fright and dived straight under the bed. It's not a monster. It's a moose, said Moose, stepping through the doorway. The storm has blown my house away. Can I sleep in yours? See, just a moose. <laughs> bear peered out from under the bed. Baby bear and little bear and young bear laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> Don't you know there's no such thing as monsters? Look at that. <laughs> the end. All done. Did you like that? That's the bears in the great big storm. Because sometimes that wind woo, can be so scary listening to that at night and it scratches things and the trees bend and they crack and they make noise. Oh, wind every, can you make wind noise? You scare me too. Holy cow. All right. I love you guys. I love you all. I love you. And I enjoy reading your stories. So if you like them, that's cool. Listen to them. If not, oh well. That's life. Mwah! Have a great day. Bye-bye.